What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got the statics problem here. We're trying to find the moment of inertia around the x-axis. And in our problem, a is equal to 410. So let's get started. So when we're finding the moment of inertia around the x-axis, we're going to use this formula. So it's I, the moment of inertia around the x-axis is equal to i bar around the x-axis plus area distance in the y. So i bar is going to be different for any shape that you choose. And it's something you can find in the back of the book or on Google. So that's something that you don't need to memorize, I think. So when we have this complex shape, we want to break it down into simple shapes, just like you're finding center of mass. So let's put a line here, and let's label this 1, and this is 2. So we're going to find 1 and 2, and then we're going to add them together to find the total moment of inertia. Right. So let's start with 1. So 1, let's uh, just write it out. So i of x of 1. So i bar, so for a rectangle, if we're doing a rectangle, it's 1 over 12. Uh, base height to the third is what i bar is equal to. So this is something you can find, and let's just keep rolling with it. So the area of a rectangle is base times height, and the distance in the y. So distance in the y is how far away the center of mass of your rectangle is around where you're rotating. So we're rotating around the x-axis, but we're symmetrical across the x-axis, which means that dx or dy is equal to zero, right? Because its center of mass is already on where we're rotating about. So if dy is equal to zero, then this whole side becomes zero. So we're just going to go 1 over 12. The base of our thing is 100. And the height is 200. And then we're going to cube that. All right, and then you plug that in. You get i x of 1 is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the seventh millimeters cubed, or millimeters to the fourth. Nice. So then let's do it for the second one. So now we're doing part two. Right, so same thing, it's a rectangle, so it's gonna use the same equation for i bar, and then area, of course, is still base times height for a rectangle, and then let's find out where the center of mass is. So this rectangle is also symmetrical across the x-axis, so its center of mass is gonna be on the x-axis, and that means that, again, dy is equal to zero. So then we're just going to have with this equation, 1 over 12. Base of this rectangle is uh, 410, which is A. And the height of this rectangle is 100, right? 50 plus 50. Cube that. All right, and then you're going to get Ix of 2 is equal to 3.42 times 10 to the 7th millimeters to the 4th. Now all we have to do is add these two together. So I of x is equal to Ix of 1 plus i x of 2. So you're going to find that your final answer, i of x, is equal to 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 8th millimeters to the 4th. There you go. That's your answer. So pretty simple problem here, right? Just making sure you know how to use your formula. Uh, so check out my videos for more complicated problems similar to this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.